G'day guys, welcome back to the workshop and today I'm announcing the start of the Bowie Build competition. Now I've hinted at this competition coming for the last couple of weeks and uh, I'm super excited to finally announce it. It's uh, something that I've thought about for a while uh, and basically it's going to be taking place over the next two months. So the start date obviously is today, November the 1st, the Monday, uh, and then the finishing date will be the 1st of January 2022. So New Year uh, 2022 is going to be when the winners are announced. Keep that in mind because it is quite a big build, obviously, but you have plenty of time to get in on it. Now, the details of the build are it has to be a Bowie. That's one of the, the first things, it has to be a Bowie. But what is a Bowie? Uh, one of the things I get asked a lot is what defines a Bowie. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it has to have a guard or bolster, not necessarily always a quill and guard like this, um, and has to have some form of clip point. Can be a straight clip, can be a harpoon clip, can be a uh, swept clip like that, um, but it has to fit those two main parameters. It can be full tang, it can be hidden tang, it can be through tang, it can be any of those constructions, but those are the two main parameters that define a buoy as far as I'm concerned. You can look up the six original buoys, including the Searles buoy, the Musso buoy, which is this is kind of representative of a Musso, um, and all of those. Uh, there are many, many examples out there, historical and modern examples of buoys that you can take uh, your reference from. But as long as they have those two, it's a buoy. Now, as far as actual parameters go, let's move to that. So when it comes to parameters, there are only two, and they are minimums, not maximums. The first is a minimum blade length of eight inches from the heel of the blade to the tip. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to have a ricasso. It can be a ricasso-less blade, but the sharpened portion of the edge has to be a minimum of eight inches long. The handle is a minimum of four and a half inches, mainly for just balance, you know, <laughs> balance of the design. But uh, yeah, overall minimum length has to be 12 and a half inches, no less than that. It can be more than that, it can be much more than that if you want. <laughs> no limits on maximum size, but these are the minimums. In as far as construction goes, as I said before, it doesn't matter what style of handle it is, full tang, frame tang, hidden tang, you know, whatever you want to make. As far as that construction goes, I do not mind. It can be mono steel, it can be Damascus, it can be stock removed, it can be forged. There are no rules on how you produce the blade. It simply has to be solely your creation. It has to be made by you. You can't use a kit blade from someone else or anything like that. Uh, and it has to be you know, a well put together design. One of the things that I'm looking for in this competition is for people to put forth their best work when it comes to creativity. I want nice flowing designs. You might think that putting Damascus in it is going to help you in terms of getting points in this competition, but realistically, I will much prefer a well put together, nice flowing lined buoy that's made in mono steel by stock removal than I will a Damascus buoy that has all kinds of issues with its overall design, including fit and finish. For judging, I will be judging based on photographs that you send me. Now, you can either email these to me or you can tag them in posts on Instagram or Facebook, um, preferably send them to my email. And it has to be a minimum of five work in progress photos showing your production, and this is the minimum of five. <laughs> uh, and I would prefer to see like a, 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 a the full build and it'll help you with your social media as well. If you're starting to get into the knife making scene or you're established in the knife making scene, constantly having output of content is very helpful for the algorithm and that kind of thing. So it's going to build your brand as much as anything else. And it'll help me see your process, your reasoning uh, in the in the process. And then once we've got to the end, three final finished photos sent to me by email uh, to samtownsplaysmith at gmail.com, which will be linked in the description of this video and everywhere else on my social media platforms um, with well lit and in focus shots. I uh, need to be able to see the piece in actual, you know, like as detail as I can, as much detail as I can. The reason I want three photos is because I want one down the spine from the handle to the tip. I want one down from the tip to the, to the uh, handle, and then I want one full profile shot. Finally, it must be sharp. And we need some kind of evidence of this, preferably a video on Instagram or something like that. 
just to prove that it will cut. Not necessarily chopping through a 2x4, some of you may want to make more art pieces, but I would like to have usable pieces at the end of this uh, so that we can have, you know, usable knives. Art, art knives are great, but even art knives should be able to cut stuff, because without being able to cut something, it's not a knife. And now for the part you've probably all been waiting for. <laughs> what do you win if you win this competition? So the first winner, gold medalist, will get a full engraving set. Every engraving chisel, Hisage scraper, and punch that I have used in my engraving career up to this point will be going into a kit. I'll uh, put a photo up over here, picture in picture. Um, but it comes with 20 chisels, five punches, four Hisage scrapers, a hammer uh, that is wrought iron and 1084 made by myself with a silky oak handle, uh, and also a graver blank and a number of punches and a scribe. So it's literally my entire graving kit to date. Uh, so everything that I've done so far, you can do with this set. Second winner, the silver medalist, will get a custom hammer from me. You'll be able to choose between an English cutler's hammer or a cross peen, straight peen, uh, or rounding hammer, any of those, I will make one uh, for the winner and you will win that. And I will ship it literally anywhere in the world. All of these prizes are shipped internationally. The third winner will win, the bronze medalist, will win 10 pre-forged graver blanks from W1 that I have forged myself. Uh, and these are a great tool to then get started in your own graving journey, especially if you've already got gravers of your own and learn, uh, are learning the process of making gravers. Uh, it'll be greatly useful to you uh, in that aspect as well. So hopefully these three prizes are tempting enough to get you into this. The main thing about this competition is not about winning, it's about giving it a go, doing something you've never done before. In the case that you've already made a buoy before, perhaps you've made a Searles buoy, or perhaps you've made a gener generic ABS buoy, perhaps try and make a more historical buoy, right? If you've made a lot of historical buoys, perhaps we'll try and make a modern one. I wanna see your interpretation of a buoy knife, right? Uh, one of the things that I, I hummed and hard about in this competition was whether I want you to make a buoy that would be uh, suitable for me or something that I would make. But realistically, I don't want people to sound like me. I want them to sound like themselves. If you want to make a buoy that looks something like I would make, go for it because I'd love to see it. But at the same time, I want to see your own spin on it. I want to see your artistic flair come out. There was recently a Bowie build-off between a number of uh, very good YouTube blacksmiths, uh, including Green Beetle and Ali Knives and a bunch of others. And some of them did some spectacular jobs in making very out there buoys. And the most out there buoy actually won my vote in the end. So please don't feel constricted to the more historical aspects or my favorite aspects. Get your own mark on it, and that will also help, again, with getting the uh, everything out there. You can opt out, but I do intend to post the photos of the winners and everyone who enters onto my Instagram feed, and also I may do a collage video on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in getting your work in front of my viewers, then have a go at this challenge, and despite the fact that you may not win these three prizes, you will still get the accolades from those who actually get to see your entry uh, put up. And honestly, the more people get into this, the happier I'm going to be. So please get out there, start making some awesome stuff. I look forward to seeing it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, get in touch with me at Sam Towns Bladesmith on Instagram, Facebook, or you can email me directly at samtownsbladesmith at gmail.com. With that being said, if you want to see updates about this, uh, this competition, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and hit that notification bell icon down here to be notified when I upload new videos. That being said, guys, have fun, get building. I'll see you next time.